and we're joined by Jazz Mon, the uh, pharmacist and manager of SRX Pharmacy. And we're here, you know, because this is a little bit different. Your, your typical pharmacy is reaching out to the general public, mm -hmm. but in this case, you have a specific clientele in mind. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, ideally what we want to be doing here in downtown Kelowna is be providing uh, care for a lot of the disenfranchised people here in the downtown area, whether it's uh, with opioid uh, agonist therapy, so that can include methadone, suboxone, and other things. And the government has changed that model so that it's a lot more uh, catered to uh, providing better outcomes. Um, we also want to be able to provide, um, uh, and specifically hepatitis C at the beginning, uh, hepatitis C treatment because it is curative now. Um, and lo usually in medicine, that's not the case. But uh, the UN, as well as Health Canada, they have directives to basically eradicate hepatitis C, and we want to be able to help out in a major center here, uh, like Kelowna, um, and we can also service other areas like Vernon and Kamloops and, all, and the entire Okanagan region. Uh, we have the capabilities to be able to basically mail um, these medications out to people's homes if needed. Uh, we, have, we are currently um, getting underway with uh, virtual and uh, real clinics just next door to us, um, with, uh, together with the help of Dr. Brian Conway from the Vancouver Infectious Disease Centre. And um, he personally will be uh, overseeing uh, a lot of the hepatitis C treatment that we do uh, next door. So obviously you and the, and the ownership that's made this investment believe that there's a need. Yeah, there is. And actually this is um, Canada-wide, but specifically outside of the Vancouver area, it gets harder and harder for treatment, as a lot of people in the Okanagan know, um, that you know doctors are a lot more scarce, uh, treatment is, can be a lot more scarce. Uh, we're here to fill that void and uh, and basically make sure that people have access to this kind of care, uh, whereas otherwise it might take you know, a much longer time to get through to a specialist and then um, get informed care after that. So, Whenever it seems they go to build housing with supports for people who are struggling with addictions and whatnot, we, we always see pushback from people who kind of don't want that happening where they are. Have, have you experienced or do you anticipate any pushback with your business model here? No, actually uh, uh, we've uh, talked with the uh, mayor's office and they're actually fully on board and they're really happy that we're here. Um, we uh, have had outreach with uh, specific counselors and uh, support workers in the area, specifically in the downtown area, and they're extremely happy that we're here as well, that they have a place that uh, um, that they can make sure that people get care that otherwise might fall through the cracks. Well, it, it does sound like a great service you're offering, and I suppose anybody, if they want to be supportive of what you're doing, yeah. could come in and get whatever prescription they've got filled right here. Of course, yeah, we, and I do want to stress that, that we don't only do specialty uh, molecules. We also do any regular um, uh, pharmacy behavior <laughs> medications, yeah. and we do blister packing, we do regular uh, prescriptions. I do my own father's prescriptions out of here. <laughs> yeah. It's not all about people with addictions. You're a, you're That's a, right. You're a full-service pharmacy as we well. We are a full-service pharmacy pharmacy uh, we just have a sort of a a bit of a specialty aspect to us but uh, yeah what's the reaction been so far for what you're doing here? very positive actually we've had people come by and ask us about different things and we've had a lot of um, people that like to walk to where they want to go and they are really happy that we're here that they can quickly just walk down the street and right to the pharmacy uh, we've had different uh, construction personnel that come by and are really really glad that we're here and um, and yeah, and, and especially from some of the uh, counselors and, um, and workers here in the downtown area, they're really happy that we we're here and we're able to provide these services. Terrific. Good luck with your business, and thank thanks you. for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.